This morning I am planting out a bunch of flowers, things that I started back in January, into this backyard border um, garden. The main theme around the bed is like purple, yellow, orange, and blue colors. And I'm waiting on a few purple rhododendrons to come in. But I figured while I was waiting for those, I went ahead and sheet mulch this area, um, the front half of it, the back half, I'm actually growing um, squash and melons along this year. Um, but I went ahead and sheet mulched it and I'm going to take you through kind of what I'm planting um, in this garden this year. Most of these are annuals since I did start them from seed and that's just a good way and affordable way that I found to keep costs down and fill out a bed for the first few years especially while the perennials establish. Um, right now I have a few perennials in here. I have, um, I have hyssop, uh, scabiosa, and one more. I can't remember what it is, honestly. But um, I've also already planted in marigolds. A couple of them died when we got the late frost um, last week. And then I actually also transplanted the Japanese red mustards from my winter gar vegetable garden into this bed. So they'll just be a nice foliage accent here. I just thought they were so beautiful. And um, they transplanted really well. Let me show you. You can see them right there. And they did really well. Um, and I'm just excited to see them flower and then it provides me more space so I can wait for them to flower and set seed and I can save those seeds and then in the meantime I can enjoy how pretty they are. So let me take you through what I am putting in this bed and hopefully I'm going to get this all done today but it's a lot so we'll see. Okay so I am including some grasses. Um, I started some blue wheat, so I'm planting out, this is the blue wheat I started indoors. I'm planting this out. I have probably about 10 plants. So I'll put that towards the back because um, it gets tufty. And I believe it is the um, seed heads that turn blue, so we'll see. I'm also planting a uh, Crassidia, which is a yellow drumstick flower, I think is the other name for it. This is what it looks like right now. Um, and they get, I think about all these plants get like three feet tall, two to three feet, you know, just normal um, for annuals. Also planting out some honeywort purple tear variety, which I think maybe also called Serinthi. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm planting out these. I have a few of those. I have quite a few lobelia. Which are really small right now still. Um, these I think are actually perennials in my zone. Those are like, uh, it's blue lobelia, so it's, if you've seen the red cardinal flower, um, this is like a blue version of that. I also have a bunch of straw flower, I may mix some of that in, but I don't know what color that's going to be. Um, and then I have a bunch of pansies. So I've direct sown um, a purple sweet alyssum in the front of this garden, and I've also direct sown 
some yellow nasturtiums in the front of the garden bed as well. And I'm basically just going to wait and see what comes up from those sowings. And then I'm going to fill in the front gaps um, with these pansies. It's a couple different varieties. I have a coronation gold, which is just a yellow, really pretty. And then I have the brush strokes. And that's um, just a classic kind of blue and yellow. And then, oh, I actually have a third one, and it's the Burna Velvet Blue, and that's just like a pure blue. Um, so those will complement the other colors as well in the garden. And the other, the only other flowers I'm putting in up here are I have some zinnias, I have Orange King see them they're really tiny still but they're gonna go in they'll be fine and then I have a Redmond super cactus which is a cactus variety of zinnia right here and then I have a giant purple and look how big this one is already so that one's gonna go in as well so yeah well all these plants have got to go in the ground so let me get started I guess huh
joining me today. I did get all those flowers in the ground. Yay, which is a big accomplishment when that happens. And I ended up putting the straw flowers into they're like warm colors I think usually so it'll still kind of go with my scheme and the important thing this year is to just kind of fill in this bed with um, 
as many flowers as I can uh, while I'm waiting to get the delivery of the shrubs that I ordered. So hopefully this will end up looking really nice in the middle of summer and hopefully through the frost. So um, thanks so much for joining me today again while I did some planting and I gotta get to a few more garden chores, um, more planting and I'll see you next time. Bye.